This is a Gripen fighter jet, one of the fastest modes of transportation and most sophisticated weapons on the planet. I was recently invited by its makers, Swedish defense company Saab, to their base in central Sweden to test fly one. It's an experience usually only open to Air Force pilots and a few political dignitaries. First, though, the medical check. Saab had to be sure I was fit enough to withstand the G-force of a fighter jet. Potential physical problems are varied, hypoxia, spatial disorientation, and blackouts. You could actually also um, get motion sickness. Yes. I don't know if you're prone to that. But... N I, not really, but I have no. not been tested, I think, no. in the way that I will be tested no. uh, today. One of the things somebody told me was that it's actually the G, the G4 suit that you get that puts so much pressure on your stomach as well, that that adds to the likelihood of... Yeah, you know, most people that's, throw up, uh, That's they? right. It, it pushes up your ventricle a bit yeah. if you fly with very high Gs. Yeah. But I'm sure the pilot will uh, <laughs> let you have a nice flight today. <laughs> the atmosphere in the changing room is one of determined seriousness. French, French, French. Putting on the heavy G suit and testing the oxygen mask brings home like nothing else the dangers involved in putting your body through forces it was never designed to withstand in a plane that has not undergone the safety tests all commercial passenger jets require. Hans is the seen-it-all-before pilot you want on your first jet fighter flight. He reassures me he can fly so calmly that I'll think I'm sitting on a sofa. We'll be heading from Lingshopping to the Baltic Sea, 150 kilometers away. If he weren't so busy showing off Gripen's stunts, it would take 10 minutes rather than the allotted hour. Climbing into the jet was more challenging than I'd predicted. A tight cabin and a very uncooperative G-suit make it a tricky squeeze. Once strapped in and given ample warning about the ejector seat lever, we were off. First, my favorite trick, the belly roll. It's smooth and nothing like a roller coaster. Zooming vertically into the air is quite a contrast. The G-suit presses against my legs and stomach, and my head is forced back as darkness encroaches on my peripheral vision. Most surprising was that Hans was right. Flying this killing machine can be absolutely serene. As we flew faster than the speed of sound, I was allowed to maneuver the controls. At slightly slower speeds, Hans showed me how to lock the radar onto enemy aircraft and ships. It felt oddly comforting that his instructions came with a Swedish accent. At least this war machine, which helped scour Libya for Gaddafi, was flying over a neutral country. After what seemed like a gentle flap of Griffin's canard wings, we were again on terra firma. It was fantastic. Oh, he was such a gentleman too. Uh, I don't know if I like the plane or the pilot, but I have to decide. Uh, no, it was brilliant. Absolutely.